Jesus, Kara, I'm so cold in here, I'm getting goosebumps. I'm gonna die. You're not gonna die, that's just your erector pili muscles. It's the same thing that happens when a cat gets frightened and their hair stands up on their back. You're gonna be fine. Yeah, I'm gonna be fine because I'm getting taller. Aaron, you're 18 and you're six foot three. You're done growing. Your growth plates have closed. You start with hyaline cartilage when you're born, then the osteoblasts come in, they form the bone, and when your bone is formed, you're done. Are you sure? I'm positive. Okay, well, my stomach is getting bigger. I am, I've been working out every day. Working out's not going to make your stomach bigger. That's smooth muscle, Aaron. You can't control it. Smooth muscle. Bet you can't put your hand on that hot plate for a minute. Really? I think I can. Uh, bet you can't. Okay. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Told you. You can't put your hand on that. You've got pain receptors in every skin cell, and it sends a nervous impulse to your brain, causing you to pull your hand back. I think you just lost that bet. Whatever. You remember that one time you told me blood wasn't blue when it's still in the body? I can prove it now that I've been cutting off the circulation to my hand. See my veins? They're blue. Preston, your blood is not blue. It's the tissues that go over your veins that make them seem blue. I promise you, all of your blood is red, just like it is when it comes out. Anyways. Just hold your breath for like two minutes. Fine then, I will. gonna be able to do it. Are you dying yet? <coughs> My head hurts. That's because your brain hasn't had any oxygenated blood flowing to it as long as you've been holding your breath. Get with the program, Aaron. You have to breathe in order to survive. My stomach hurts too, Kara. What's wrong with me? This is not your stomach, Aaron. Down here, that's your intestines. You probably just need to take some Pepto. You've got indigestion. But, one good thing, even though I'm in all this pain, I haven't peed in days, and I feel great. Erin, that's a problem. Your antidiuretic hormone has to be crazy out of whack. You're not supposed to not pee for days. I mean, it's there to make sure you're not peeing every three minutes, but that's a bad thing. You should probably go to the doctor. All right. But did you hear in second period they were talking about sex? No, no. Don't have sex because you will get pregnant and you will die. My life is over. Uh, drama queen.